Hi, in today's video, things will get heated up as I share with you some tips and techniques when installing a bumper and grommet strip. All right, let's go inside. All right, so before we get started, you wanna make sure you have the following tools. One, uh, you wanna have a heat gun, but if you don't have one, I'm actually gonna use a hair dryer for the purpose of this video. Also, you wanna make sure you have a awl and uh, cutting pliers and also some cable ties or zip ties that you're gonna be using possibly to secure the bumper guard. All right, so I'm gonna be demonstrating this technique today on a bumper guard that's, um, I tried to pick out something that's pretty stiff and you're gonna use the heat gun or the blow dryer to soften it up to make it more pliable and easier to install. I, I don't have a Babolat racket, but this is probably one of the hardest to install when the, when the bumper guard set comes in multiple parts so this one has uh yeah all these different parts so uh that might be a future video if i get a babolat that i have to replace but uh for today i'm gonna be demonstrating on this um uh, using this bumper guard set all right so the first thing you want to do is get your racket and this is a, a prince uh phantom 100g but uh you're gonna actually take off the grommet strip and the bumper guard but you want to actually cut the flared out holes and typically that's going to be on your tie off holes like that uh, one right there uh, and then any of the holes that have a sharp angle like the last main going up or the last couple crosses going that way so you're just going to get your cutting pliers and just uh, cut those off so I'm going to go ahead and remove those and this would be mainly in the five o'clock, seven o'clock area of the frame on the bottom. And at the top, usually at about the 10 and two o'clock area. So we're just gonna cut all of those off. So it's gonna be easier to remove the bumper guard and the grommet strip. And so um, I'm just gonna cut these all off. All right, so once they're removed, then you can go ahead and take off the bumper guard and the grommet strip, and it should just come right off, just like that. And if you want to use your awl, you can go ahead and like in this case, I'm trying to uh, lift up this grommet strip. You want to just, you can gently do it like that. And it should come off right that all right so there's also a throat piece over here this one at the bottom so I'm just gonna push it up here and usually you can just remove it with your fingers if you had to go in with an awl you can go ahead and use it just make sure that when you use your awl that you're not gonna force it because it could actually bend the tip. So you wanna be careful with that. Um, all right, so before I put on the new uh, bumper guard and grommet strip, I'm actually gonna clean it. This would be a good time to actually clean your frame uh, because you don't have to deal with the grommet strip. So why not just clean it since you have a nice uh, clean frame here. That would be always nice to have that done. And in one of my previous videos, I, I use Windex typically to, to clean the frames. And then you can also use alcohol. That would be another good cleaner. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the bottom and work my way up to the top. So I'll just go ahead and start with that throat piece, this uh, one right here. And this one's pretty easy usually. Sometimes it might be hard to get it all the way in so you just got to really work at it using your thumb, pressing it down. And so that one's installed right there. And then I'm going to start working on the sides. It doesn't matter which side. Some grommet strips though, you, you have to check. It might make a difference on which goes on the, which goes on the right and which goes on the left. But always make sure you start at the bottom because they have these longer uh, holes or barrels that go through the frame. So yeah, always start with the bottom and then work your way up. Now some will just cooperate and it'll, it'll just go right in and you can see it already popping out. 
But if you have difficulty trying to get it in, that's where your awl comes in. And you can actually stick it through from the outside of the frame and kind of wiggle it. And what you want to do is never force it because once you force a grommet strip into the hole, and if it doesn't go through the other end, it's going to flare out the tip. And once you get that flared out, it's going to be difficult to put it in and it's not going to look very nice when, um, especially if it's a customer's racket and you know, you want to make sure that it looks like it's brand new and not already, um, used. So this is going in very nicely. It's just popping right in there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just install this side and uh, I'll show you another technique when I get to the other side using this all. So again, everything's flat. There's one that's over here that's a little bit raised. So you just want to make sure that there, oh, that popped in. All right. So I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. I'm starting at the bottom. You want to kind of, yeah, help it along the way. Just getting your all in there. Now, sometimes when let's say if a grommet doesn't cooperate and it's uh, not going in the way you want it to and you don't want to force it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and um, i'm going to take this off let's say if this was a very stiff one and it's not cooperating uh, i'm going to heat it up using the blow dryer so i'll use high uh then that way it works faster So I'm just blowing onto it, uh, kind of rotating the grommet strip so it's not staying in one spot for a very long time. Um, I actually never used a whole blow dryer, so this would be a first time. Uh, I'm thinking 20 seconds would be about right. All right, so we'll try that. And with the blow dryer, it's gonna you got to work fast though because you want to make sure that it's still warm when you're trying to install this because you want it to be as uh, pliable as possible and once it cools then you know you got to heat it up again but yeah you can see how this particular one is going in very easily it's not uh, giving you any problems okay there's one right here that's a little bit raised so yeah you just want to make sure you address that by making sure you use your all okay now sometimes if it doesn't go through oh okay well, this went in very nicely. But uh, yeah, when I get to the bumper guard, it's definitely gonna be more challenging. Um, I usually like to start at the bottom and work my way to the top because a lot of times the bumper guard has a uh, has to overlap the uh, grommet strip. And there's a little, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, if you see right over there. Yeah, that's where the bumper guard has to actually overlap. So. You want to make sure and that kind of secures the i guess the top edge top um yeah edge of the uh, grommet strip so you never want to make you want to always pay attention to that overlap right there all right so we're going to work on the bumper guard we got the everything in and we're going to go back to the uh, blow dryer i think i'm going to keep this in for about 30 seconds i'm thinking um uh, yeah with the heat gun it's a lot hotter and probably yeah works a lot faster but i can already feel the blow dryer it's pretty hot again i have it on high uh the particular one i have is a 1875 um so it's pretty strong i guess different blow dryers depending what you have if it's a lower number it'll probably take a little longer All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna locate the center of the frame and then try to work your way to each side uh, going outward. So I can see the center of the frame is right here. There's a mark right there. And this one has a little dot, so that's that's uh, nice to have. You can see where that, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a dot there that tells you that's the center. So you wanna make sure you line those two up and and then just work your way either left or right but if it's a really difficult bumper guard, okay, I'm gonna just try and get these first 
few in here so it's secure. Okay, that's in. That's in. You can actually use a uh, one of these zip ties if you want to make sure that it doesn't pop out because sometimes it can when you're working down here, this might pop up. So you can do this. Um, I rarely have to use this though. I mean, it's once you get it in, it should stay in. But let's say if it's not, and this is one technique you can use. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and work on my left. And as I get to each hole, I'm just, again, wiggling the awl to try and help it through the uh, each hole. And you can hear it clicking, so that's always a good thing if you can hear that sound. All right, as you get to the end, though, it's, it is going to get tougher and tougher. So, you know, over here on this particular hole, I can already feel like it's not going in. So I don't want to force it, though, so that's the worst thing you could do. Now there's another way you can actually help it along, in, uh, help it through the hole. And what I would do is get a flat surface, like this table that I'm working on. All right, I have this table that I'm working on, so that's gonna be my hard surface. I did try to uh, push it through, oh, that went through, but let's say if it's not working out where the, uh, the grommet is going through and it's not clicking. So what you can do is if you get your um, awl, and you turn your frame the other way around, you can actually uh, wiggle it from this side and just try to make sure that the, the grommet is lining up with the hole. And once it lines up, then you actually press, I'm pressing down with my thumb so that it actually helps that grommet go through. So again, I was wiggling it with my awl and then I was pressing it down onto the table to get that grommet to stick out. So I got this side in, it's all good. All right, there's some grommet strips that might, uh, I mean, sorry, bumper guards that when you're working on the other side, that this side might just pop out. So if, if you wanna be safe and wanna use another cable tie, you can go ahead and just secure this side down so that it doesn't do that. And you can just leave this on until you actually string the racket and then cut it off. So just for safety, uh, purposes I'll go ahead and secure that down there and I'm gonna go work on the other side but now that it's cooled off I'm gonna have to reheat it so I'm gonna go back to my uh, hair dryer all right so I'll show you the two techniques that I used again. I mean, the first option is just go from the outside, kind of wiggle it, try to hope that it you know goes in without uh, any problems. And so far, so good. All right, so this one's getting stuck. I, so, oh, it went in. All right. Okay, let's see if, I'm gonna take this out. So let's say if it was stuck, all right, so I'm gonna, you try to get it in as far as you can without without forcing it. All right, so that's kind of, that one's halfway in. And again, you gotta really uh, be careful with how you, how much you wiggle your awl because you can actually, again, bend the tip of your awl. So you wanna, all right, so this one's giving me a problem. I'm gonna flip the frame around. And again, I'm gonna go to that problem grommet, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna wiggle it from the inside. And then once you see it line up, then you kind of press down on the frame using the hard surface to uh, pr uh, press against. And it might be hard to see it from your angle, but everything just popped right in there. And this side is complete. So again, if you wanna uh, be safe, you can just go ahead and secure it with the uh, cable tie and just kind of hold it in like this with this side. Like that. And you can go ahead and just mount it on your machine with these cable ties on here. And then, uh, you know, you would just snip them off when you're at that hole. So yeah, so that's it. I didn't want to mention about the uh, Babolat rackets though, because these are, yeah, I must admit, it's pretty, pretty tough. So you got uh, seven pieces. So on this one, um, you have the throw piece. So that would go in first. Then you have these two side pieces, which go, start at the uh, five and seven o'clock area. So you would typically try to uh, install those on both sides. 
Uh, then it has these other two pieces right here that go in from about halfway uh, up the frame and it goes up to about the edge of the bumper guard. So you got two of those. And then you got this bumper guard piece that doesn't have any grommets on it, it just has holes in it. So you basically gotta uh, put this on here, line it up with the holes, and then stick this other one inside here. So this is probably the hardest one right here. You know, you gotta heat it up, just make sure you're lining it up. And again, uh, I'll be happy to feature it in another video when I get a, one of those pure drives that I can install it on. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So hopefully this tip helped and um, yeah, let me know if you have any challenges and I'll be happy to uh, help you out. Today's video was inspired by a viewer that was asking about installation of bumper guard and grommet strips. So hopefully this helps. Also, if you're thinking about becoming a USRSA certified stringer or a master racket technician, there is a portion in the test that you have to install a bumper guard and grommet strip. So you definitely want to make sure that you practice that. I also provided a link below to the IART website and as a premium member you'll have access to the global ambassadors that are there to help you become better racket stringers. Thanks for watching, happy stringing, and let your strings play!